Hey all, it's Tabby here. Um, so, this week's video is on scrambling. Um, I'm going to explain the basics of it. Um, fair warning though, um, as this is intended in part as an introductory video for people who are potentially less informed and not necessarily. Um, no. Yes, this is intended to be helpful to people who might need it directly for themselves, but this is also uh, intended as something, as a potential resource for people who aren't necessarily directly involved, but, you know, I encounter people who are and might want, might want to implement this. Um, video is not itself scrambled, although um, we are capable of putting a scrambled version together if that is desired. Um, so, you know, let us know if that's something you want and we will work on getting that done. Um, it might end up, you know, um, turn down all the video production stuff obviously, but he, Depending on a number of factors, it may or may not impact other things, but you know, if it is desired, it will. If this is, if that's something people want, we will make reasonable attempts to achieve it and achieve it with reasonable rapidity as well. So, yeah, it is hopefully not too much for an issue. Um, so, anyway, um, what is scrambling? So, uh, scrambling is the process of breaking up search cues by using scramble words. Um, so, uh, generally speaking, scramble words, um, you can use most words function acceptably as a scramble word in the right context, um, but you know, um, it's generally useful to ensure that the word being used is one that isn't going to get confused as part of what's being said. You know, something that's easy enough to break out from, if necessary, you know, something that is clearly a scramble word and isn't going to confuse the meaning is generally good practice, although, you know, Uh, it can also help potentially in a discussion to beforehand to decide what a scramble word you're going to use. Um, you know, hey, this is a scramble word you're using. If you're going to have an extended conversation with someone, that can help as well. Um, and it's also, you know, um, obviously, less so obviously, but. Yeah, it is generally good practice to uh, avoid more likely or common to or trigger words. So, um, you know, food names or names or slang names for substances are probably a bad idea. Uh, in terms of endearment, that sort of thing, right? It's, yeah, effectively you want to be using um, an innocuous word that isn't going to be confused uh, with other words that are part of the sentence. So, uh, it, um, and then, so, the, this goes on to why it can be a sensible proportion. So, essentially, um, the idea of scrambling is to break up cues, which is a valuable thing to attempt as, um, you know, completely avoiding potential cues and severely limit the potential for effective communication. And especially early on or in less stable stages of Healing, um, especially from TBMC, but 
anything where you have any situation where you have tropes or cues that would often that can lead to harmful behaviors it's useful to break them up so that doesn't occur and uh, this is a way of doing that it's not a perfect solution but it's you know not the most complicated to implement and isn't generally when people know that that's what's occurring it's not too hard to understand what's going on um at least in theory um so, you know for people it doesn't affect it's theoretically easy enough to remove those words effectively from what's occurring and then follow along and for people it does affect hopefully they they provide a level of protection against being cued or triggered into behaviors that they don't want at this time or you know the reasoning behind its usage and why it's a sensible it can be a sensible precaution um, in terms of how to apply scramblers so uh, you know can you add in the chosen word to potential cues um, so word writing um, especially if you're doing this for other people rather than for yourself or yourselves you can write out what you want to say first and then follow through with a pass or two of scrambling which um you know but it especially if scrambling is or may be valuable to you um it can help to attempt to add them as you go you know, just to get yeah, um, partly to help break them up for yourself of course but also um it's useful practice for um if you are going to be scrambling in verbal communication which you can't be prepared to the same degree so yeah you need to effectively scramble as you go at least to some degree uh, anyway so it can of course help with that to plan ahead what you're saying to some degree and then you can add the you, you've got a better idea of what's being said so you've got a better idea of where scramblers might be helpful uh, but yeah so determining what could use a scramble word is complicated and especially if it's not something you've got direct experience with in terms of from the you know side of needing them but regardless um a few basic rules will cover a reasonable amount of the more common use cases and obviously you can potentially gain further guidance directly from people or you know learn more for yourselves as to what other thing what isn't covered here but might be valuable either in communications that you're making for yourself or in communications with other people with other specific systems um so but yeah um so um common terms for affection or apparent care um uh, are good use cases um and commonly used phrases for um requesting or ordering another person to do something uh, you know whether so yeah the sort of sentences you'd expect from you know um a parent telling a child or effectively getting a child to do something, whether that be the you know um more not always manipulative of course well no it is always manipulative but it can be part of good parenting probably hard to know for certain because i haven't seen it but indirectly but you know to you know ask a child to do something in a way that plays on their emotions um like that or of course just direct no go do this um go do this now wording um, uh, 
and other useful thing to scramble are the names or terms for holidays or other days of cultural import. Um, anyway, that's a sensible precaution, especially um, if you know if there's a cultural connection to that or societal connection in for that per for yeah for that particular day in some way you know if you know none of you grew up in a christian ish area and none of you are christian ish you know at all then christian holidays are unlikely to be particularly important to scramble but so an example uh Jewish holidays might be you know so but the more reasonable caution especially if you're uncertain is to go for all of them until you know otherwise but yeah um and obviously this is a bit less right but it's yeah there's um I'll try to remember to put a card in the video here but we do have a video on uh viewfinding um which might help especially if you're attempting to use scramblers primarily for yourself or for um uh, you know but even outside of that it might provide some more clue clues as to what might be helpful um although um okay, that might help i believe that one is scrambled as well so you can see most of this, most of the players this is like being scrambled, so the examples of it in a tune as well, if that would help. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's everything. Obviously, if you've got questions or want this, a, a, a scrambled version of this, or something else, let us know in the comments or if you've got contact with us elsewhere you can use those channels as well this system signing out hope to catch you all next week please do remember to like subscribe comment especially if you've got any questions you want answered be happy to answer them either in the comments or in another video so catch you all next week